slowly, rapidly, on the borders, on energy, on inflation, on everything you can name. Afghanistan removal, everything about what he's done. He's destroying our country. And he's also destroying it with weaponization. And this is purely his weaponization. See who's in the courtroom. You go, just see who's in the courtroom. You'll see, and you'll see where they come from. And if you report it accurately, uh, a lot of people are gonna be very upset. But this is all election hunting, election interfering. It's going after Joe Biden's political opponent because he can't do it himself. And they're helping out. And we have a judge who's highly conflicted. He happens to be corrupt. It's the worst confliction. It's the worst uh, that anybody's seen. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. It can't even be the prospect of an impropriety. And it's a shame. Wall Street Journal editorial for today, Alvin Bragg has improved his case in the Trump trial. The evidence shows why the charges should never have been brought. After 20 days in court and a trial transcript of 4,000 pages, the missing piece is still the missing piece. There is no crime. Wall Street Journal. Jonathan Turley, a classic closing page by the lawyers, is to use a physical object like a three-legged stool. If any three-legged stool is missing and any leg is missing, the stool absolutely collapses. Even a cursory review of the evidence shows that this case does not have a leg to stand on. This is a case without a leg to stand on. This is Jonathan Gerald. The case, the case against Trump should end in a very strong not guilty. Not guilty. I don't know these people, but they're great legal scholars. Greg Jarrett, every defendant has the fundamental right to be informed of the nature of the cause of the accusation against him, but Bragg never abided by that constitutional guarantee. Even worse, Mershon let him get away with it. He let Bragg get away with it, a trial that Bragg didn't want to put. And he should have done it seven years ago if they were going to do it. They should have brought this case seven years ago, not in the middle of my presidential election, where I'm leading by a lot, Biden, by a lot. They brought it right in the middle of the election. Hopefully it doesn't work out for them. The same way allowed the local court to be misused to enforce a federal law over which he has no authority or jurisdiction. They have a federal law which they're using, but they have absolutely no authority. And under the federal law, I did nothing wrong. Andy McCarthy, former FEC Commissioner Bradley Smith, who's the, that's the expert that they wouldn't allow me to use, the number one in the country. FEC Commissioner Bradley Smith, testimony would have established that Trump cannot have hopeful, willfully violated FICA, that's Federal Election Campaign Act, because NDAs are not campaign expenditures. You know, there's nothing wrong with an NDA. They're signed all the time by many, many companies. Uh, they sign them literally on an hourly basis, because NDAs cannot have, and then it says Trump did not have a FICA legal duty with respect to them. He could not have intentionally uh, flouted the known legal duty. In other words, he's innocent. Mark Levin, same thing. The Brad case is about lawfare run him up against a former president running again for president. It also represents the greatest effort to interfere with and steal an election. Donald Trump did nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. This is everybody saying it. Except we have a judge who's corrupt. We have a judge who's conflicted. You know what the conflict is. So do I, but I can't say it because I'm under a gag order, which is another unconstitutional thing. You ever hear of a president, leading candidate, leading Biden, leading everybody? And I'm a gag order, I'm not allowed to speak. It's the first. No president has not been allowed to speak. But this is it. Uh, read the cover today of the New York Post. Read all the stories in the New York Post. Everybody says, this is crazy. This is not the trial that should happen. It's a, it's a very sad day. This is a dark day in America. We have a rigged court case that should have never been brought, and it should have been brought in another jurisdiction. As you know, we asked for that, and uh, the judge never allows us anything. And just to end, 
We had an election expert was going to say everything was perfect. We had the FEC did nothing. It was fine. And we had a lot of other people. I could give you a list of 40 people that would say the exact same thing as these people said. So uh, thank you all very much. We'll see how it goes. This is a very dangerous day for America. It's a very sad day. Thank you. Are you worried about a conviction? Todd, are you confident tonight?